Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painter Dog and welcome back to, I believe, episode 6 of this. I'm gonna call it a let's play, but it's not really a let's play. Just a look through at the end of the day of Timberborn with the folk, folk tales. As I said, we have a couple of mods installed. One is for automatic floodgates and a vertical ladder and all that, but yeah, that's, you already know all that. So it's been a while since the last episode. A lot has happened. Our uh, little one got sick. First my wife got sick. And the little one got sick. And then I got sick. And then the little one got chicken pox. And still he basically went to school for the first time again. To preschool this week. And uh, yeah, so it's been a quite a hectic time. And I try to do a little bit, but uh, you know, it's a lot, of, lot to do. And uh, yeah, my voice actually disappeared for a couple of days as well when I got sick. But we are back. I did a bit of work, as I said, and uh, I'll quickly show you that. Let's just get out of this view. Let's close up all this. So uh, I labeled this. As I said, I will the last episode. And I leveled this and already did a bit of work. As you can see, we have 154 unemployed bots. That's because I added in a couple more bot factories and assemblers. And all that. A couple more wood workshops. And one... Where is it now? Oh. It's here somewhere. So we can get all the planks and all that going for our mine down here. Scrap metal. Uh, still turning out the uh, science. You can see we have 230k science. So I can actually switch this over to being a mine. But for now that's fine. Add it in these ones for when we switch this over. And uh, yeah, we are going along. And one of the suggestions was to change this connection here on this platform where the road goes underneath with a windmill that's a good suggestion so I implemented that what I also can do is areas like this I can always add in windmills not necessarily these ones I might be able to get those ones yeah I will be able to get those ones in change these up with Windmills, so that's another thing that we can do. But the major thing that I did was in here, as you can see, they are busy here. I dropped everything out, and what I did was I added in the district crossing in here. On this side, I, I basically stopped all connections from all sides except for this district crossing here. In this district, it's only timber bots here. Yeah. The hauling post is timber bots, the builders huts are, are uh, timber bots. Everything is on this side is run by timber bots. So they can go into the contaminated water and uh, be fine. So I don't know where this oh, beaver got contaminated. He's, but uh, he is contaminated. So I don't know where or how, but that happened. But as you can see, they are placing in the, a bit of. Uh, dynamite in there. I'm going to take this down basically as far as we can go. I thought about basically building this up as tall as it can go, but the problem is the floodgates. You only have triple floodgates and yeah, that's a bit of an issue because uh, yeah, only three blocks that can overflow. What I can do is get this basically you can build up and then have a free floodgates at the top but then there's always the thing that you can't get all the bad water out what i can do is get this down and then use where is it now mechanical fluid dumps or fluid pumps is a maximum depth for four blocks and uh, get a row in here basically to get it from down there 
pumped up to the level of these bad water pumps make this like a small reservoir and uh, I can always do something like that but so when we get down low then we can always get still get water out that water out but that's a bit of a thing we have quite a lot of bad water stored up we had quite a bit of bad water stored up. Don't know why that's not in there. But yes, we have quite a lot of bad water stored. And we have a lot of extract and all that. Also, so I'm not really worried with the, the dry spells that we will run out. So, yeah. I feel like this playthrough is basically reaching a point where we can't really do a lot of new things so it might get a bit boring so uh, yeah I think we are reaching the end of this map of this colony playthrough of this colony because yeah it's starting to get a bit boring we can rip things out and optimize and do all that but at the end of the day our colony is successful 70k logs, 26k water, 8.4k food. We can always expand our food, get a couple of water dumps in here, change this over to food production, stack some of these buildings on top of one another and get more food production in here as well, and the same over here. But at the end of the day, we've researched everything we can. Our colony is self-sufficient, so uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a lot more that we need to do. We're producing more power than we need. We have 152 free pots, 48 free beavers. So yeah, I don't feel feel like there's a lot more that we need to do at the end of the day because we actually done quite a lot so it will feel a bit like a waste to just keep on going because we can but we can get this down and see what uh, this looks like at the end of the day but yeah so I placed in the triple floodgates there so it'll flow down here this is bit of spaghetti here I know it's looking quite bad but it's one of the things that we can optimize we can get this down and very very this and all that but I don't think that's necessary I brought the power down here so prove this large to get this power because this moment at the times that it didn't have any power when there's no beaver on the power wheels so yeah that's the thing and uh, yeah but I just got the, all of this hooked up into the main system as well a bit of power laps there but you know why but it's picking up again. I placed in a carousel and all that. A couple of mud baths as well. So you can see there. So our beavers are quite happy. Well being of 22 we can get that bumped up quite easily with bee stings, injuries, contamination. We get the shrubs, lanterns and all that. And the monuments up and running. But I don't feel like that's really, really necessary at the end of the day. But yes, I like our colony. I'm glad this worked. Bit of redundancy with all these extra floodgates for to get the bad water out, but yeah, it's doing its job. Especially with uh, the automation set up in here with the stream gauges and all that. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. You can see we have a flood gate in here to make sure this area stays full. A couple of flood gates in there with the dam. The dam is not quite necessary, but no, I'm just leaving it in. And we get got this tidied up. A couple of double and triple flood gates in here. And uh, yeah, so that's quite nice. I, all, I can always get this, drop this down one more and get the small dam in here so we can get a little bit of bad water caught up in here. But at the end of the day, if needed, look at all these bad water, large water tanks full of bad water. So it's not really 
that major issue. Yeah, I've been waffling now because I wanted. I hope that they would get this done by now. But yeah, so we can get quite a lot of bad water stored up in here. And uh, what I can also do is build a couple of platforms in here at different levels so we can make sure that if the water drops, starts dropping down, then we can get that sorted out but yeah that's something for another time you can see here there are two and a half blocks you take this up to three it will stop until it overflows because uh, it will overflow because of that's the lowest point at the end of the day and that's basically all the water that we can get out, get in here. So that's why we can always get in an area like this and pump the water upwards with mechanical fluid pumps. But I think that's a bit of a yeah something that we can do if we would take this colony long term. But I don't think it's necessary to take this colony long term since uh, yeah. We've done everything that we wanted to on this. So let's get that down. I think this will be the last. I'm going to take this down. As I said, quite a lot of bots, quite a lot of free beavers. But yeah, I see, feel like everything is going according to plan. everything out here but I just took this up if we need to get power in here from this side but we got power in here use the verticals and everything like that to get to there but not there's not anything this side that really needs power so I'm not really worried about that a couple of extra hauling posts of timber bots and have this in here if we if we need it as you can see it's flowing over the floodgates Didn't just get that Flying over floodgates I would like if I implemented uh, taller floodgates it's up to 10 why not there might be issues with doing that but it might be something to do when you can get really big and deep dams going with a smaller surface area but deeper at the end of the day that will help quite a lot I took this up believe two blocks yes but then I decided well, I can just leave it because at the end of the day the droughts aren't long enough really to cause any issues in long term we still have we still have bad water stored up at the end of the drought so, you know that's not really something that I'm worried about but let me know in the comments if you would really like to see a real playthrough of this game and if you like the jumping around and just updates along the way what we did with this series or would you like to see everything and uh, so on and uh, if you want to see another game just let me know I as you know it's uh, a winter time is approaching for the southern hemisphere I say that and we still get days of 40 degrees plus it's currently now eight o'clock in the morning and it's already 32 degrees celsius i'm not sure that what that is in fahrenheit but uh, yeah it's really hot at this stage and uh, it will only get a bit hotter at the end of the week but yeah it might be cool it's starting to cool down now that's what i wanted to say and it's winter time and hunting season in South Africa is around winter time. You get places where you can hunt in the summertime as well, but yeah, it's been winter, so it's a bit cooler, so you don't die of heat exposure. And uh, so yeah, as tradition, if you're not, if you don't know this already, in this channel, close to hunting time every year, I do a bit of a playthrough of 
either uh, Gazela's Big Game Hunter or Hunter Call of the Wild. And I have an idea for Hunter Call of the Wild because that stagnated quite a bit for the last couple of years. But I have an idea, but I, something that I want to do there. But I'll let you know when and if that's going to happen. But for now, let's get this demolished. So let's slow this down a bit. Let's pause that. Demolish. Let's hide that. Sorry if that was really loud. But uh, yeah, we have a bit of space. As you can see, we, we can plant in a bit more, but as I said, it's not going to really matter for us. That's quite deep. And uh, we're not going to really be able to use it. So that's a bit of a waste at the end of the day. But yes, so we got this system sorted out. We had a look at the beehives and all that. And uh, I'm really happy at the end of the day what we did with this colony. It really helped us and uh, we learned a lot through this. Especially with the bad water stuff. But I really hope you enjoyed this. And as I said in the comments, please let me know if you want to see another some another playthrough like this where we don't show everything, but we jump ahead in time, or if you want to see a playthrough with everything. Are you fed up with Timberborn? Just let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the future. Cheerio.